There was a person I used to speak to so often. So let's call that person, person A. Person B, his friend, contacted me earlier today. So contacted me by email. In so many words, person B was asking me what happened to person A. And I emailed back pretty much saying, I don't know. <laughs> so person B emailed me back in so many words saying or writing, as it seems, person A is back into sin. And I was thinking, no way. Because person A, at that time period, was so excited about God. Like, me and that person would talk about God for hours, for long periods of time. And I was thinking, why in the world would that person go back into sin? That is crazy. Something came to my mind today. Endurance. When it comes down to serving God, you need endurance. You can't believe that you can jump into this and believe like, hey, I am only going to put in a little bit and everything is going to be fine. No. It is not going to be fine. You need endurance. And you may say, Kevin, what do you mean by endurance? Let's look it up. <laughs> the ability to withstand hardship or adversity, especially the ability to sustain a prolonged stressful effort or activity, a marathon runner's endurance when it comes down to God you need endurance picture this let's say that you are in this you are in this marathon and the person in charge says to you look you have to complete 50 miles no matter how long it takes you, you can run, you can walk, you can pretty much do those things as long as you finish 50 miles. You are going to receive what is vital to you. Let's say that you can't live without that reward. Yes. So let's say you try one mile, five miles, 10 miles, 20 miles, and you are thinking, wow, this is really, really hard. You know, my feet hurt, <laughs> my toes hurt, my back hurt. This is so difficult. I just want to quit. But that reward is vital to you. You need that. You can't live without it. Yes, that marathon is hard. But you can't give up. Yes, you are going to feel pain. You may get discouraged. Yes, you may be hurting all over. When it comes down to God, if you are trying to get into heaven, you need endurance. This race is not going to last only a day. This race is not going to last only a week or five years, 10 years, whatever. 
So it is crazy to get discouraged after a day, after a week, after a month, after whatever. Look, you have to get into the mindset, hey, whatever happens, I am not going to get discouraged. I am not going to give up. I am going to do what it takes, endurance. Usually, to get something great, it is going to take time and effort. So, why do you believe that you can inherit heaven by doing something simple, by doing something easy, by doing whatever you want? No, it is going to take great effort to follow God's rules and regulations. It is going to take great effort to live the lifestyle that God wants us to live. You need endurance. So who, whoever says that living for God is easy, <laughs> chances are they are lukewarm, they are in sin, or they are not thinking correctly. You need endurance. Yes, it is good to do as much for God as possible. But if you are not really doing as much for God, hey, as long as you are running or walking in this race, that is what matters. As long as you are following God's rules, that is what matters. Yes, you may not be doing as much as other people, whatever. That doesn't matter. As long as you are living right and enduring, that is the most important. Let me stop here. God bless you.